All right, beautiful friends. Well, today we were supposed to be building a volcano, which you can catch in our next vlog, evidently, because it's gonna take a couple days, I guess, for it to harden, and so we can paint it and stuff like that. So instead, mm -hmm. today, we uh, thought we'd come up with some fun food ideas. Isabel's been in this like white egg eating extravaganza kick. And so um, we have a white egg already cooked and we're gonna be having some, we thought we'd mix it up a little bit and have some food fun, play with your food. You know, parents always say don't play with your food, but sometimes I think it's okay. So stick around and have fun with us. All right, so here we are. We got all the ingredients here. Let's see here, show them Isabel. We have some watermelon oranges, chocolates, cheese, strawberries. And so right now we're gonna prep all the things. We already cooked the egg white just to get ahead a little bit. Cause I think you know how to cook an egg white. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and prep the fruit. But while we do that, we're gonna show a little video of the food fun we had yesterday. Enjoy. All right, Isabel's gonna start making her bunny. We hope you enjoyed those fun bunny smoothies that we made yesterday. So uh, for now, we just cut out the bunny mouth out of a single slice of cheese. We just cut two slices of oranges for the bunny ears. And Isabel said she's gonna put her own twist to things. So have at it, Isabel. Got the mouth on there made out of the cheese. This is a fun way to eat breakfast. Some bunny ears with a couple orange slices. And who doesn't like chocolate on their eggs? I mean, come on. Very cute. And what about the little bunny nose? Hmm. I'll use a piece of cheese. Right, great. You can use cheese, you can use strawberries, you can use whatever you like to have fun. All right, now we're gonna make some hearts to accent the bunny breakfast. We're gonna cut some hearts out of those. I'll get the last one. Okay, very cute. Obviously, if you're having this for breakfast, you'd want to 
prep all the fruit ahead of time so your egg doesn't get cold, but we wanted to be able to show you guys everything. Okay, very good. Watermelon does not want to come off. Mmm. A good cook always samples her work. There we go. All right, so how would you serve this to your guests, Isabel? I would have some of this. Ooh, bunny food. That's a good idea. And then these to give the top some prettiness. Beautiful, a nice, healthy breakfast. And there you have it. Now I think the most important lesson from this video is to remember that some bunny loves you. I know that was cheesy, right? So enjoy, let us know what you think. Maybe try it out for yourself. But always remember before we enjoy this that smiles are free, so, so share, share yours. yours. Bye.